Hi, I'm Sam Caligioni and this is Beer America. You know, a few years ago there was only a handful of breweries left in this country. If you wanted something unique or interesting to drink, odds are you weren't going to find it in your local bar. Thankfully, times have changed. Let's go have a beer. A few years ago, if you walked into a bar and asked for a turbo dog or fat tire or arrogant bastard, you would have been met with some pretty weird looks. Not true anymore. Today, America is known for making the most diverse and interesting beers in the whole world. But craft brewing has a lot more to offer than just the beer. It has its own culture, its own local heroes, and its own folklore. In today's episode, we're going to be checking out the Yingling Brewery in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, oldest brewery in America. From there we go to Denver, Colorado to check in with the Great American Beer Festival, oldest beer festival in America. And then we're going back to school. We're going to be going to the Siebel Institute in Chicago to find out exactly what it takes to become a brewmaster. But right now, right here, we are in the Brickskeller, a mecca of good beer here in Washington, D.C., and the Guinness Book of World's Record holder for most beers under one roof. So Dave, how long has the Brick Skeller been the Brick Skeller? Brick Skeller was started in 1957 by my wife's grandfather and our son Sean is now fourth generation. You ever have a time when like three generations are working the floor at once? Absolutely. Or who's in charge when that happens? Diane, my wife. But of course, but of course. Do you guys share like the same favorite beers, you and Diane? Diane likes the Pilsners, I prefer the Hoppy American Ales. Man after my heart. What about like the customers here, what are they preferring? All styles sell good here. We uh, sell the hoppy ales very good. Yeah, like the American hoppy ales in particular? Or? Oh, yeah. Good to hear, good to hear. What about like weird wise? I'm sure there's plenty of weird beers that you serve. What about like weird presentations or styles? We hosted beer writer Michael Jackson's 60th birthday, and Anchor Brewing did a commemorative bottle for us. That's this one here. 50 ounces. Big beer for sort of a big beer hero in our in our industry. That's pretty cool. Also, like there's three beers here. I know you got a ton of them. What is the number? How many beers are for sale at the Brick Scale? Yeah, every beer on earth for yeah. sale. Yeah, every beer on earth. Whatever that number happens to be that day. Number. So it's, it's, I imagine it's always fluctuating with like how whatever's available on the market. Right. We got the Guinness World Record with 1,072. Wow. 1,072 beers. Well, I was looking at the walls here. You got to have at least that many cans on the walls here. We've never counted. We feel it's about 5,000. 5,000 because it's like wall aluminum instead of wallpaper, right? That's pretty cool. Well, congratulations. Everything I, I've ever heard from anyone has been fantastic about this place, and you've got to be really proud. My pleasure. Thank you, Sam. Good spending time with you. That's it for Beer America. Cheers. <laughs>